Hi guys, welcome to third grade, chapter 11, lesson nine. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. Actually, we're gonna finish number one, sorry about that. So, perimeter is just counting how many are around it. Area is multiplying length by width, okay? So perimeter is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. The area would be one, two, three, four times one, two, which is eight. So rectangle A or B has a greater area. So area on B is eight, on A is nine, so it's gonna be rectangle A has a greater area. There's more, right? We have nine and we have eight, so A. All right, guys, let's do number two. Perimeter of A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And the area is 1 times 4, which is just 4. Okay? The perimeter of B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the perimeters are the same, but the area is 1, 2 times 1, 2, 3, which is 6. So the greater area is B. Okay? All right, Tara and Jody's bedrooms are shaped like rectangles. Tara's bedroom is nine feet long and eight feet wide. Jody's bedroom is seven feet long and 10 feet wide. Whose bedroom has a greater area? Well, so Tara's is nine by eight, which is 72, and Jody's is seven by 10, which is 70. So Jody's, oops. Oops, sorry, not Jody's, my bad. Tara's has, or is, ugh, pardon Miss Leah, bigger. Okay. All right, guys, Mr. Sanchez has 16 feet of fencing to put around a rectangular garden. He wants the garden to have the greatest possible area. How long should the sides of the garden be? So for this, I'm gonna go 16 can be made one times 16, two times eight, and four times four, okay? So we need to find out if, um, let's see. Well, we think four times four gives the area of 16 because one times 16 is 16, two times eight, okay. But if we did the perimeter, then we would have not so much. So four by four would be 16. That would be your answer. All right, guys. We're going to go over onto the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always, and we are going to do the only two problems on spiral review. So, number three says that Carrie covers a table with eight rows of square tiles. There are seven tiles in each row. What is the area? Well, eight times seven is 56. So, 56, and it's just units. Now, can be units squared, or you can put square units, or you can write out square units. Your choice, okay? All right, Vaughn has a rectangular workroom with a perimeter of 26 feet. The length of the workroom is six feet. So, that means that this side and this side are six, okay? What is the width of the room? So now I have six and six, which is 12. Okay, so I need to do 26 and take away that 12, which leaves me with 14, okay? Now, that 14, I have to split up between these two sides, just like I did here with the sixes. So half of 14 is seven, so seven feet. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 11.9. Come on back for 11.10. See you soon.